So I can go over here to Assistant, and this is actually really helpful. It's a really cool way to use this tool. You could actually quickly create a new album from here, and it will help you uh, go through that. So you could actually add all these photos that you want here and quickly create an album, and it's just going to create an album for you with all those photos that you've uploaded. So I'm just going to call this uh, my album, and then we'll leave it at that and go back over here and now we've got two different albums one that's got all of our photos in it the other album that's got like our e-covers but you can see how simple and easy that really is to you so you can go to albums there create a new album if you want um, or go over here to assistant and work on that also so go back to photos there any point um, let's say I just want to search my photos I'll come up here and type in e-covers and it's gonna pull up Oh, it didn't pull up a result there, so we'll say e-cover. Nope, that didn't do it. SCT maybe. Nope, that didn't do it either. So um, let's see here. So there's different search parameters you can use though to track down your your pictures, and um, that's a way to go about it. So you can look at your albums there. You've got uh, some different things there. Uh, you've, you can also do shared pictures if you wanted to. So you could share with different family members and choose which album you want to share with them. So create a certain album to share and then you could actually send that uh, over to people as well. So they make it super easy for you um, to actually share your content. And we're just going to say shared folder and call it good there. And then that's going to go ahead and share that out there. So you can just click up here anytime too. And um, it'll give you multiple ways to share a folder. So um, if you want to upload a bunch of pictures from an event to a certain folder. And then you decide you want to share that link. You can just follow that little share icon at the very top. Grab this link. And then you could post that to Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And all of a sudden your folder become shared on the internet so people can access it, go through all your pictures, see which ones they liked, those types of things. It's a great way to connect with people. It's a great way to share like your product images. If you are working with a virtual assistant and they're doing like eBay products for you and uploading, great spot to share all your product photos. Uh, great spot for your team to interact with when it comes to photos. A lot of websites are very photo intensive, so it's really important that you do that. So Google Photos really gives you that capability to you know that balance of having your personal photos put together and your business photos all in one tool and so it's photos.google the other thing is you can go to the app store and uh, go to the app store the apple app store and you can actually download that uh, if you're on apple or android and they have the google photos app there which allows you to instantly after you take pictures back up the pictures clear here to um, Google Photos so that way as you're taking pictures they're automatically being uploaded you could even uh, fix them and put them in the right folders there's lots of cool features within Google Photos so I highly recommend you use it look at using the app as well that way as you're taking pictures they're gonna pull them from your phone upload them here to the cloud and that way you're safe and you know that your pictures are protected and they're in a good spot on the cloud so you can manage them for your business or personal reasons as well